In an unexpected turn of events, Trisha Paytas and Jeff Wittick are actually on good terms now. Although it does kind of make sense because they were both done wrong by the vlog squad, but their past beef had people thinking something like this would never be able to happen. But Trisha sat down with Jeff this week and Tana was there as well to support. And they talked about their drama as well as their experience with the vlog squad. Jeff talked about the current lawsuit going on with David and so much more. Now, how all of this came to be was because Jeff said he watched Trisha and Tana's podcast episode together and saw that Trisha was saying nice things about him and that she would love to have him on as a podcast guest. And he wanted to reach out to her and said that he was going to and that he's wanted to before, but their past drama held him back. But Jeff is admitting now that he was basically convinced by the vlog squad that Trisha was crazy and they had their back and forth because of it. But in the end, he admits that she was truthful about things that she said at the time and the vlog squad is truly no more. And I've always thought about reaching out to you because our last like even when I was gonna like text you, you just scroll up a little bit and it's just such violent wild. <laughs> Mine's not there anymore. I didn't even want to look because I was just like cringing at it like damn. Well, I think the last word is you threatening me be like you're a little rat and I'm gonna like get you a rat or something. Don't date look, things have changed. We're here, we're friends now. Look, we we stopped this and and I wanna get that out of the way. Like, look, there's a reason why I'm here. You've always spoke like you've had my back, you know, you spoke the truth, and I used to think you were batch crazy and oh, you know that's just was. that's just how it is with that group when you have somebody that's exiled it's like oh they're bad shit. that's why they need it's to get out of here it's crazy to think that they still like that's still a I know, thing it's, too it's, you know it's, it's, wild, it's so but, like childish and but they're not a thing anymore they're dissipated right no one no one talks about they're not around i don't know yeah i don't even say the name because it's like nobody even knows but right we'll bleep out uh, um i don't bleep out vlogs i just bleep, bleep yeah <laughs> isn't it kind of crazy how all these years later trisha and jeff are able to sit in a room together and talk things out Meanwhile, David is not on YouTube anymore and the vlog squad is all over the place and they aren't even how they once were. Like if you had told anyone in 2019 that this is how things turned out, they would definitely be like, no way. But the thing is that the signs were always there and Trisha back then at the time when she left the vlog squad and her and Jason were done, people did think that she was this bitter ex and she was crazy. But the thing is what she was saying back then was true. And Jeff is admitting that she was telling the truth back then and is apologizing to her for not believing her and not seeing it then because she was warning everyone of what was to come for the vlog squad she was saying it was weird that there would be jokes made about jason and tana given their age difference and she called out brandon for dating someone not of age and she called out david for his behavior and said that something bad was going to happen in this group this video is going to give me so much hate because everyone's up his butt but they're going to realize and something bad is going to happen in that group i don't know what it is something bad something dangerous something like like they do all these dangerous things someone's going to either die or like also Jeff really credits Trisha for also getting the truth out there about what happened to his eye because for the longest time, Jeff was embarrassed over what happened and didn't want anyone to know about it. And it really wasn't until the episode of Frenemies when Jeff came on the show to defend David after the Insider article had come out about him in the situation with Dom and that girl. It was in that episode that Trisha brought up Jeff and his eye because she had been hearing about it and she asked him about it. And he said if it it wasn't for her and that coming out he would be in a much worse spot now legally he said that when david came out to talk about jeff on his podcast and basically tried to blame jeff for the accident that was right towards the end of the statute of limitations to take action against david and so if this stuff had come out to the public any time later, he probably would have been screwed and unable to sue. So he really credits Trisha for getting the story out sooner so that he would be able to talk about it, see David's true colors, and battle it out in court with him. And he talked a little bit about how it has been going trying to battle David in this. We're fighting it out in court right now, but you know, to get that, like I needed that, and that was because of you. You opened my eyes, or I, you opened my eye. <laughs> Your eyes this. look great now, but yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There's still stuff that I can't wait to say, but I want to have like a, I want to have like that Johnny Depp Amber Heard live stream trial. I want to hold things for that too, because there's a lot of like criminal acts that will put people, you want to be a citizen and you're doing the that 
people don't even know about. I can't wait. I can't do it here right now because there's still yeah. like stuff going on. And I even, you know, I have a lot of people helping me on my case it's and better. stuff like that. It's so better to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, absolutely don't talk about it. Jeff wants this to go to trial. He really wants to be able to battle it out with David. He doesn't just want this to be something where he takes a settlement. And Trisha thinks that says a lot about him in his case, and Tana also agrees. I can't wait. I'm telling you, Johnny oh. Depp, Amber Heard, part two. It's. Do you think it'll go to trial? I hope. I you would want love it for it to, yeah. Which is yeah. like, usually like anyone who would do it for clout or whatever, which is not, you should get paid and compensated for your whatever, usually would just want a settlement. But the fact that you like want to go to have trial and have this all come out, like I think that says like a lot about your like story. I just in general, Yeah, because you know I mean? I, 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 I'm not going to lie. It does piss me off when I see comments of people who don't know shit. You can't let that really get to you. You know, like people will say stuff that I'll read and I'm like, I wish I could just come out right now. But, yeah. you know, you just got to eat it and wait for the time. Patience. And he later said how he can't wait to air things out about Natalie as well, since she wants to join David in saying all these lies about Jeff. So did he end up paying for all your hospital bills? <sighs> That's a uh, that's gonna be fun when we get to that in trial. Because Natalie said yes, they did, and he said yes, they did, and you were like, no, I can't wait my to expose sucks. Natalie's lies. She's next level, like, like crazy. Shit. That's something I want to avoid because it's a big part of the case. Yeah, she's scary. <clears throat> but yeah, the truth will come out. Jeff also said that back then, when he did go on Frenemies to defend David, he was really sticking by that group, and they kept saying to him, that girl that the Insider article was about is a liar, she's a cloud chaser, but Jeff realized that's what the group does, because they tried to do that to him as well when he came out eventually about the truth about what happened to him. They tried to blame him and say that he knew what he was getting into that day, insinuating that he's a liar. And he said it's a pattern with this group because they also tried to do that with Trisha, say that she was a crazy liar as well. And he did say to Trisha that it doesn't help that she did get 5150'd. But at the end of the day, what she said about the vlog squad was true all along. And Trisha and Jeff had a little bonding moment over both being gaslit by the group. And something that Trisha reveals is that Jason has been telling this story for a while now. And Trisha has also admitted to this, but she's saying that she only admitted to it because Jason told her that this was the truth. And now she's saying that this is something that didn't happen is that Jason has been saying that there was a time where Trisha crashed her car into his house. And apparently that's not something that actually happened. They also made up a bunch of stories about me that I found out later on weren't true, but they were told to me like this happened. You did this, you did this. Oh, you were high. You didn't know. So in my head, I'm like, well, I'll take responsibility for it. Like, I don't want this that's out crazy. there. Gaslighting. I didn't even know what gaslighting means. I, she, she had to teach me. I didn't either. She was like, you were being <laughs> gaslighted. This person's gaslighting. And I'm like, oh. There was so many instances where like you did this, so own up to it before we like go to the police. But I'm like, okay, if I really did this, there would be a police report that somebody, there would be news reports about this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. crashing into someone's house. I'm yeah. like, that would be all over the news. Whether and there'd I'm... be a hole in the house, right? Thank you. So I, so, I mean, what, I don't know. That <laughs> was out of my mind, so I don't know like back then, but I'm like pretty sure that like didn't yeah. happen, you know? Like I said, both Trisha and Jason have said that this happened, but apparently this is something that she was just gaslit into believing that she did. She threatened to to ruin me and ruin all my friends. That's that's really what happened. Um, and then eventually, you know, she, uh, she drove her car into my house and uh, trapped me in my house for like three hours. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to go into it, but Jeff mentioned that he recently saw Jason at the gym and that when he saw him, he did talk to him about David and didn't say good things, obviously, but it sounded like Jason agreed with what he was saying, which is interesting given how Jason is usually praising David up and down, at least publicly. I just told him, I was like, you know how it is. The kid's stunted. He'll never believe anything that he did anything you wrong. You said that in person? Mm -hmm. What did he say? Yeah. He agreed? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah you're Damn. right. Damn, so fake though. I hate that. I hate when like they agree, but it's like, I always say this. You can like love someone and be friends with someone, but still admit they did something effed up. Like you don't have to be defending him. Jeff talked about recently seeing Liza Koshi as well and how they had a little conversation at Fashion Week and they seemed to have similar thoughts about how they even got caught up with the vlog squad. And he said they could talk about it for days. I bumped into Liza at Fashion Week in New York. Oh my God. Yeah, and she's so sweet and nice, yes. and I'm like, it's, again, it's like, how the f*** are you mixed up in this? And she feels the same way, and we had a little conversation, I was just saying, like, let's, like, we could talk for hours and hours, no podcast, nothing, yes. like, that's just... It's still just so crazy to me how the vlog squad began, and how Liza and David were such a big couple at the time, and how everyone was so invested in them, and their breakup video went viral. 
Like the fact that that happened, it feels like it was a different universe or something. But Jeff goes on to talk about how he saw David in Vegas a couple months ago and confronted him about being out living his best life like normal when they're battling it out in court and he's saying what he's saying about Jeff trying to get the case dismissed. And Trisha was just shocked to hear how David responded to Jeff. I saw David in Vegas like six months ago or like four months ago. Just got pissed off seeing him around at parties. You know, like after hearing what the courts are saying, like they just try to dismiss you, just call you back crazy. So I was like, yo, if you're going to be out here doing that, you can't do that. Like pick one or the other. It's yeah. either going to stay in hiding and make those lies and accusations or don't come out to parties that you know I'm at. Like you, I was clearly there. And it was now like we're an influencer event or what? How did? Yeah. Uh, it was like a Vegas, like just, you know, I was there with Mike and a bunch of people. So I pull him aside. Let's just have a talk. You know, like it's probably not, you're not supposed to do that, but I don't give a f got nothing to hide. So he was like, I know why you're talking about you or why you're talking about me. You want me to respond? Oh. And I was like, I'm talking about myself and That's I'm living story. with you narcissist. <gasps> you think I'm talking about you to get a response? Yeah, do he respond. Said that? Respond. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's what they yeah. Oh. They think they're higher like above people cuz you can't talk about I shit. I was like literally You're engaged. just not talking about cuz you got to hide. You know you'll get caught up in a lie. That's why you're not talking. I genuinely wonder if David is scared about this lawsuit with his team trying to get it dismissed and him just out here going to parties and acting like nothing ever happened. I wonder if he really is just like, oh, I'll get away with it. Or if he low key goes home at the end of the day and is really thinking to himself, I am in some serious trouble. Cause Jeff is saying he has a really good team working with him. They are really doing what they can to get him this win in court. And hopefully Jeff does get justice as soon as possible. We'll just have to see how it all plays out. But for now, that's what these two had to say about the vlog squad. It's nice to see that Trisha and Jeff could be civil after all the drama from before. And Jeff is posting on his channel with Trisha on Monday, so there's probably going to be even more to this conversation coming soon. But as of right now, that's what's been said. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.